Hello and welcome back. My name is Amulya and you are watching Nisha. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install PyCharm IDE for Python developers on Microsoft Windows 10 free one, the community edition. Okay, so the process is going to be the same for professional edition of PyCharm IDE as well. So to get JetBrains PyCharm you go to jetbrains.com slash pycharm here we are and then go ahead and have a look at this page these are a few uh, features that you can have a look at simply you need it boost code quality and it's got some deep intelligence as well and here we are so these are the packages that you have intelligent python assistance web development frameworks that that's basically in the professional the paid one scientific tools pycharm integrates ipython notebook okay so a few of the libraries like numpy html javascript css ts typescript a uh, few built-in tools like git no it doesn't have git okay you can go ahead and discover all the features and these are two editions that we have here so the community edition and the professional that's enterprise the paid one the commercial one so here we are you can go ahead and click here if you want to download it from other operating system like mac or linux this is my Microsoft Windows 10, so I'm going to download Community Edition, which is free and open source. So I'll go ahead and click here, the download button. It already has detected the Windows, the operating system. However, if you want to download it from Mac OS or Linux, you can go ahead and choose a specific file package, so the package, the software package. So go ahead and hit download, and this is going to take you to the thank you page for PyCharm download go ahead and save wherever you wish I'm going to make sure that it is saved on my desktop okay so you can choose the location where you want to save it and then hit save now this is 259 MB and going to take approximately two to three minutes depending on the speed that you have <laughs> internet speed yeah it varies across the globe so here we are once it's downloaded i'll go ahead and install it all right so thank you for your patience as you can see python charm ide is already downloaded it's on my desktop here now we will go ahead and install it so before we start installing it you definitely want to have python installed on your system and set to system path as well so if you have not installed python go ahead and watch my video i will leave the link in the description on how to install and set python 2 system path as well so you can get it from the description or you can get it from the cart here on the right top so let's go ahead and install it so make sure you've got python here I've got 3.8 so make sure you already have python installed because this requires python interpreter to interpret your code so go ahead and make sure you have python installed and then install pycharm so go ahead and right click it's it's very slow then you go ahead and say open or you can simply double click on it now this is going to install and give you user account control say yes and this is the installation wizard for PyCharm Community Edition for on Microsoft Windows 10. This is location where it's going to be installed. So I'm going to just shorten the folder name and then say next. Now here are the installation options for PyCharm Community Edition. Go ahead and say if you want to create a shortcut on your desktop, add launcher directory to the system path again restart needed so that will be implemented on your re next reboot update context menu so it's going to put you 
put this pie charm over here and then uh, pi create pi file association as well then you say next once you're done here go ahead and say next JetBrains, JetBrains, JetBrains will be perfect. Now go ahead and say install. Now this will take some time, though it's not very huge file. It may take a minute or two maximum. Now it has already created this shortcut on my desktop. And wait, you can pause the video and I'll be right back. Here we are. So PyCharm ID installation is complete you, if you want you can reboot the system right away or just reboot it later and say finish now let's go ahead and launch the PyCharm JetBrains PyCharm so you can launch it here from if you've already gotten this desktop shortcut otherwise you go to menu you can put it here or you can just drag it here and then launch it from here okay so let's go ahead and create a very simple project here now uh, previous versions do not import settings okay go ahead and say if you already have installed PyCharm on your system so this is going to import everything that this is going to PyCharm project configuration so I'm not going to do that simply say do not import setting and launch it so this is kind of uh, an introductory to this pycharm you also can set up ui theme so you select here and this is going to look like that otherwise this one so i'll go with the dark one darkula next feature you can this is kind of check before you start using pycharm if you want to install vim you if you're familiar what it is go ahead and do that if you want to use markdown custom language you can install these plugins okay otherwise say start using pycharm and here we have pycharm and you can open any existing package like python program package or file uh, take it from github or you simply create a new project so let's go ahead and create it and here you just have to say project name so let's say I want to say hello okay and then you have to select the hello world and then this is going to create a virtual environment for your project also this need they need to have if you do not have python installed you will not get this option okay so you make sure you already have python installed so i've got python 3.8 and then once it's selected it selects automatically if you have multiple options go ahead and select the python that you want for this system existing now i don't want it here we go and then say create pip env conda if you have otherwise virtual environment is perfect say create so now this is going to create a project tip of the day you can check uncheck this startup kind of tutorial and otherwise you can say next this is trying to just create the virtual environment for python which is really good practice so just wait for it it creates just once and it's going to use this virtual environment for all the projects okay now you can close this one the tip maximize the window now just processing few things here scanning files to index and this is your project so it may look, look like this just you have to check this uh, tick on uh, click on it and this is your when virtual environment you just right click here and create a new file or python file html file whatever you want package directory okay so let's go ahead and create a python file so just i'm going to say hello and this is going to open it one more thing we 
need to do is basically increase the font size so go to file and then go to setting and it's, it's just trying to load it so here we are say font and go to font here and increase the font size also you can change the font family now let's quickly go ahead and test it so I'm going to say print by charm now you can run it so there are a few things you don't see the tools here what you can see go to view uh, appearance I don't know where it is okay here we are so you simply say a view and this is going to compile and so then select the file and it did work so once it's done what you can do once you compile uh, sorry compile you once you uh, run it you'll get this here as well so you can run it from here so this is how you download and install PyCharm on Microsoft Windows 10 7 8 or 8.1 if you have any question any suggestion please leave it in the comment below if you're not able to install it properly leave your error message what exactly you're getting okay so thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel have a good day bye for now